Well, hello everyone. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Galador review. And this one is on the Uni from 2002, of course. So starting out with the fold out uh, advertising sheet. Or not sure if you could call this instructions or something. Or whatever. But of course, some quite nice artwork of it in Gorm in action, and also kind of odd looking alternate model of it and of course the Galador logo there and it's like bit of the TDN module of course and of course Lego logo and advertisement for some of the other figures that there were Ooh, whoops and also how the uh, Keck Power Riser next next throwback Thursdays okay, which interacts with the show and all whatnot and on the back of which is a little promotional poster of most of the figures together, of course, but yeah. But also, first off, to mention, or first to mention, are all these extra pieces that you get with it, like a Gorm's headpiece in dark red, quite nice to see, good for mocking, and also. This little uh, shielding piece, which we also saw on Nepal and Schimmel set, but in dark red, also nice for mocking. Extra light red arm piece version of Gorm's arm piece, the so upper arm piece, of course. And also, same but in dark red. And also get two of these uh, foot pieces. Is, which already on the uni, of course, but also quite have a lot of nice ridges uh, detailed in them, and like all the figures in the line, have the ratcheted joint bits. But yeah, and that's it. For that, and now on to the uni itself. Well, as you can see, it's Quite a bit of what you could what you could call a hodgepodge of the pieces from of pieces in a course, or just with a few of its own pieces to that. So at least there's a, it's kind of a parts pack of Galador pieces, of course. So the legs of which, as you can see, just again those new foot pieces. Well, in both in dark red and in black, of course, and. Also, the like uh, lower leg pieces that Jens also had, but in dark red, which nice for mocking. And also, if you can, if I take this off, and you can see same exact body piece as Schimmel from the Paul and Schimmel set, but now in black and dark red, of course. And also, what's kind of interesting is this little piece here. Which, as he has Yenz's arm pieces, but lower half in dark red, of course. But for this uh, middle section piece, which which you can kind of use on the McDonald's figures, of course, give them a waist movement for that. Well, that if you wanted, and it, all of, and you can add it to some other uh, figures as well. Also, give them a bit of. Or short figures if you wanted. And attack on there kind of randomly, but yeah. And as for the arms of which, as you can see, has both Gorm's and Yenz's upper and lower arms, of course. In both dark red, light red, and Gorm's lower arm piece, but in light red. So kind of interesting. And same exact swivel motion as the other figures do. And on the back of which, as you can see, does have those, oh, of course, have those like extra add-on pieces like what Gorm had, but in light red. And also you got into this interesting little connector piece, which has like five, one on top and four on the sides. Of the ratcheted joint holes, of which end a whole ratchet joint on there. So, I think would be nice, quite nice to use for mocks if you can. 
well, both of Galador and also of other things as well. And you can connect it into that hole there. And that's for the neck of which another one of those pieces and also and now on to the head of which quite interestingly well done and quite detailed I guess oh whoops okay so now on to the head of which as you can see has all the whole few bang like mandibles there and of course so nice scaly de detail and texture like we saw on Euripidus and also on Aquart. And of course, it also has the light green eye effect like we saw on Gorm, of course. So, and so I guess it's like a dual or at least triple molded, and of course. And uh, what else to say? Yeah, uh, not much, but I think this, but of course, as they say, is, and of course, since it comes with all these extra pieces, you can modify it as much as you want, and also so, turn into, or as one says, make into monstrosities, of course, but yeah. Like, maybe this piece can, like, work out as extra back coverage. Or lower back coverage, or whatever. But, so now, on to the final verdict. So, overall, I think this is which a, a quite cool, uh, kind of cool uh, for Galador, of course. But, like, you get plain good light red, dark red pieces is that you can add to the other figures if you wanted and also one and also has a good parts pack for that of course but also so nice to see another larger set other than just Nepal and Schimmel well it's like sort of the same size as that but at least you can kind of a bit although they are kind of comparable the two of with or a little alike the the he and Nepal and Schimmel but at least with Nepal and Schimmel you got two figures together in a set, but this of which one larger figure of which, but at least he got plenty good for the price point, but yeah. And also, and then, and so now if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it, and for those of you who have it and still have access to getting it, then definitely get it. eBay, Bricklink, whatever, and that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.